G'day guys. Uh, to set up the AI Micro, you need to understand a couple of things about these inputs and outputs. Uh, it has limitations. Uh, at the moment, uh, the inputs on the AI Micro can only uh, take a microphone level input. You wouldn't want to put any high gain uh, devices into these inputs. You could actually destroy the circuitry. Uh, you, of course, you can get attenuated cables, so if you wanted to put a hot signal from a mixer or something like that into it, you'd have to use one of those attenuated cables or maybe even a breakout box. Rode has supplied with the AI Micro a couple of different options, which makes it very, very versatile. Uh, the one I'll be using is the Lightning connection for my uh, iPhone. Uh, if you've got an Android device, you would use the USB-C to USB-C adap adapter lead. And then if you're going to plug this into your PC or your Mac, you may choose to use the USB-A input, which makes it a nice little inter interface. So let's plug in the AI Micro. And now we're getting the sound, yes, from the external audio interface, which is the little fella here. I've got the new Lavalier 2 plugged into channel one and in the Filmic Pro app, it's uh, coming, I've got it split and it's only coming into channel one. So hopefully channel two will come across onto this right hand side. Now the AI Micro apparently can distinguish between a three pin microphone input and a four pin, which has been a, a bane of contention for many creators. They've had to have all these little adapters so that the microphone input actually works. Well, apparently the AI Micro is smart enough. Let's have a look. So there goes the Lavalier Go, which is a three pin plug. And it's coming up nicely on that right hand side. Uh, the sensitivity is probably a little bit uh, lower than the new Lavalier 2. And taking that one out, and let's put the Smart Lav Plus which is a four pin plug into that input and see if it does its little dance. And yep, it's reconfigured the input so that it's working even without an adapter. <laughs> how cool is that? If you stick around, I'll show you how to use the Wireless Go 2 along with the AI Micro and get uh, adjustable gain on both channels. Whereas uh, at the moment, the uh, Wireless Go 2 doesn't have that. So let's um, open up the Rode Central app. It's reminding me again to make sure the firmware is updated. And straight up, you can see the current status of the AI Micro. At the moment, uh, both gain controls for each input are turned all the way up. Uh, at the top here, it says that it's set to split mode. Yeah, that simply means that the left-hand channel will go into the left-hand channel of your application and the right hand channel or channel 2 will go into the right hand channel and I'll show you that in a little moment. What you can do is choose merged and it means whatever goes into channel 1 or channel 2 it gets merged into a mono signal and on, on your application you'll see the, exactly the same signal on both. Let's um, make sure it's set up to split mode so that we've got that left right separation on um, this channel one and channel two, you've also got the option for a high pass filter. So I'm gonna switch that on by just touching it. Now, uh, channel number one has a 75 Hertz high pass filter added to it. Now, simply what that means is that those very, very low frequencies, the rumbling of maybe a, a car going past or air conditioner or something like that in the room, those lower frequencies can be cut off. Now you also have the ability to touch it one more time and it toggles to 150 hertz. So you would start to hear that audibly in your recording, but if you've got really bad low end rumble in the room that you're recording in, you might need to do that to sort of lower some of that, that uh, sound. I have also noticed with lavalier microphones, they do tend to have a lot of noise down low. So by activating at least the 75 hertz um, filter does remove a lot of that background noise. So again, you can do that for both of those inputs if you like. The third option is the stereo input one. So you might have a stereo microphone that has a, a left-right microphone element built into it. 
and it comes with one lead and it, it'll simply look it'll look just like the the plug that you use for a standard lavalier microphone but the way they have it wired is they have the ground and then left and right channels on the tip of it so it's slight, slightly different because there's two microphone elements in it you would plug that into channel one and the configuration in this setup on the Rode Central app would make sure that one channel, the left-hand side, would go to the left-hand side of your video app and the right-hand side. I don't know if that seems simple, but just to go over those details to be, to be clear. So I'm just going to use the split mode and the volume controls for each channel, the sensitivity or gain, whatever you want to call it, is here. So you're able to lower the sensitivity of input number one or lower the input sensitivity of number two. There is a limitation with the Rode Central app. Unlike the Filmic Pro app, you cannot see what sort of level of input is coming into that channel. You're turning it down, but how do you know what level to put it on? So that's maybe something that Rode might look at doing in the future. But there, there is something that will help you out. If you go to, let's just get rid of this app altogether, the Rode Central app before I put it on. Now let's open up the Rode Reporter app. So it's opening up, having a talk to the Rode AI Micro, and there it is, it says at the top, Rode AI Micro. And now you can actually see uh, a level coming in on each of those channels. I'm going to go to Settings and then Configuration. Under the Configuration tab, you can see that you're able to adjust the level of the microphone but also visually see what sort of inputs coming in, which I think is a really uh, big advantage over the Rode Central app at this stage. Uh, you've also, in the uh, Rode Reporter application, you've got access to the high pass filter, 75 hertz or 150 hertz, so that's not a problem. You also have the ability to use the direct monitor feature of it, and if you have an amnesia attack, there's a little information sheet there to tell you what that's all about. So with any digital device, there, there is a time delay. For example, these microphones, they come in, they get adapted or adjusted inside this little processor in here. It goes into your mobile device and for it to then come all the way back out, it's got to go through processing. The delay is very small, but it is discernible. And if you want to, if you're singing uh, you're trying to keep in time and you don't want any delay at all. You want to be able to hear yourself self as you're speaking. Uh, then direct monitor is the way to go. Now, what once that switch is on, that gives you the ability to listen from this headphone output directly without processing, without it going back in here. Obviously, that's all still going to work. But for your monitoring, uh, for you to monitor it, it's just going straight from your little input through a little headphone amp and straight out again, and it's direct monitoring. And you also have the ability to turn that volume up and down or vary how much is going in or out. Now I've opened up the Filmic Pro app and I have the two microphones plugged in, left and right. I have them clipped onto my chest. And as you can see, they're both coming in here at different levels. And I'll just show you, uh, I'll just open up the Rode Reporter app and I'll turn down, say, the lavalier 2 and there we have it you can see the the discernible difference between the two now so left hand channel has been turned down the right hand channel is up at full i think it's 24 decibels or something they they say there and uh, so you can see a discernible difference now you watch what happens when i select the merged mode so at the moment it's on split i'm going to select merged and it should merge those two signals together. And there we have it. They're merged together exactly the same. So both of those inputs, even though there are different gain levels, will get mixed and then sent to uh, both of the channels. So you get a nice even uh, recording across both of them. To set up the Wireless Go 2 uh, with the AI Micro, so you have the ability to adjust the gain of each of the microphones separately, uh, before they get merged onto your video application that you're using maybe on your mobile device. I'll show you how that's set up. 
The lead that you'll need is the 3.5mm uh, stereo jack to two separated 3.5mm uh, plugs. Now the reason why you use that is we the output on the Wireless Go 2 is able to be separated into two channels left and right which I've made sure that I've selected in the application and you can see as I speak on these wireless microphones it's separated into two channels here just be sure that that's the way you've got it set up the way you connect it all up is you plug the single end into the output of the wireless go to and then you plug in the separated leads into the left right channels of the AI micro so now we have the the left hand channel left hand radio mic going into the left hand channel here now using the road reporter app uh, I make sure that it starts from the very beginning so that the application recognizes that it's connected to the AI micro and as you can see the the left hand channel is into number one and the right hand channel is into number two now while it's in this setup you can configure it by adjusting the volume of each of those channels separately so you can turn the volume of uh, the left hand one all the way up or you can turn the volume of the right hand one right down now uh, in your application that you're using for filming say filmic pro which has got a nice indication of the levels at the moment i've got the left hand channel here set to the right level and i've got the right hand channel set to the right level for the participants that i'm using but uh, they're both going in and, and you, you wouldn't necessarily want uh, one microphone going into one channel and the other microphone going into another channel uh, what you really would need to do is make sure that they're merged so you go back to your application into the settings configuration and choose merged now they will be merged at the adjusted gain controls that you've selected so let's go back to filmic pro and there you have a nice merge signal and what you've effectively done is you've been able to adjust the sensitivity fully of the, the left hand microphone and the right hand microphone and that's given you uh, a f the ability to have full adjustment over those microphone sensitivities now uh, how it sounds well I'll leave that up to you let's have a listen to the recording that I made uh, using that same method the audio that you're listening to at the moment is using the wireless go 2 as the audio source and it's running into the AI micro and then through the digital interface and into my iPhone and being recorded on the Filmic Pro app. So I'll just uh, stay quiet for a moment and there may be some background noise. If not, you might even hear some of the, the currawongs, which is an Australian native bird in the background. To start with, I'll let you just have a listen to any background noise at this level and uh, we'll be able to find out the quality of listening to the Lavalier 2 through the AI Micro. I've plugged in the Lavalier Go and it's a more economical microphone but you can listen for yourself to see how it sounds. I'll stay quiet for a moment so you can listen to any background noise. What you're listening to now is the Smart Lav Plus and it goes through the AI micro and through the digital interface into the mobile phone. I'll stay quiet. You can listen to any background noise from the Smart Lav Plus. If you've got any questions about the AI micro and how it can be used in conjunction with other applications, please type your comments in the comment section. It's been great uh, highlighting a couple of these things to you. And uh, in the meantime, stay safe and I'll catch you later.